And we're back. Look how fast that was. Uh, hi, Priya. Welcome to the show. Hello. Please introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. So excited to be here. My first time on AWS On Air, and life couldn't get any better. Uh, Priya Devnath, I'm a product manager in Amazon Connect within AWS. And it's actually a sunny day in Seattle. And I'm here to talk about high volume outbound communications. And I think Ryan had the perfect tagline. It's it's a simple and a very cost effective way, as you'll see, to contact millions of customers daily for communications like marketing promotions, appointment reminders. And you can do this via multiple channels, whether it's chat, SMS, or email. Yeah. So uh, high volume outbound communications. I, I think you gave a, a, a pretty quick rundown of this. Um, maybe you can give us a couple more examples. You know, what what is uh, what is this feature and, and what were customers doing before? Yeah, uh, great question. So let's let's use an example, right? Um, so picture yourself as this manager of a popular hotel, right? And I'm going to call myself Jane Doe with hundreds of rooms that are sold out most days of the week. Now, a typical use case, you want to reach out to your customers to remind them about their upcoming hotel reservation. Right. And you have customer A who has opted to get a reminder via a phone call. You have customer B who's saying, yeah, I want to get reminders via SMS and customer C wants reminders via emails. That's where we come in. That's where you get high volume outbound communications working for you. So what uh, Jane, me, can do is I can use high volume outbound communications from Amazon Connect and send reminders to these different customers, A, B and C, for these upcoming appointments through the channels that they have opted into. Uh, also to answer your question on what were people doing before this? Oh, well, uh, let's talk about that, right? So what was happening was that many businesses were uh, constrained by uh, what I would refer to as legacy contact center technologies that only allow inbound communications. And also they rely on separate applications and tools, if you will, to reach customers for outbound communications. And if you think about it, integrating these tools for outbound communications is time consuming, it's expensive, and it's difficult to manage, right? Because you're, you, you have these silos which you're trying to integrate. So essentially then what happens is you end up with, with these piecemeal solution that lacks flexibility and is just difficult to scale. So that's the problem that we have tackled with this particular capability. So what is under the hood with this capability? What is it made up of? I'm so glad you asked about it because I can talk all day about what <laughs> it includes. So let's let's talk about some of the key components. Number one is uh, one of the critical components is a predictive dialer, which automatically calls customers that are specified in a particular contact list. So that's number one. Number two is how do we get that contact list? So that's where we have integrated list management capability, which is provided by the awesome Amazon Pinpoint, a service that we already offer from AWS. And the third one is what we're calling as a call progress analysis, as you'll see in the demo, but this is our machine learning powered answering machine detection that's gonna help you distinguish between a human voice and an answering machine. So you can totally imagine that this is going to increase your agent efficiency because you're going to ensure that you reach a live human and talk to them and not get like an answering machine and have to call back later. That's awesome. That sounds very, very thoughtful. And what I what I really noticed about this is, you know, I feel like my understanding of, of Amazon Connect is constantly evolving because I prior to talking to you, I thought Amazon Connect was kind of this, you know, okay, something's wrong. Somebody needs something, right? And a customer is asking for help needs to be connected with an agent. But what I see with this feature launch is that Connect is actually branching out to encompass more of the customer relation life cycle, right? Because, you know, to your point, these kinds of, of outbound communication, they're not necessarily related to a customer who's having a problem. Like I can't access my account. I got this weird charge on my bill, right? This is more like, hey, just a friendly reminder, like here's your appointment. You know, is, do you need to reschedule? Is this something? That, but that's not a that's not a problem. But yet, I can totally see how that that yeah. you know, having used services like this before, I can totally see how that can a reduce the incidence of problems in the first place, right? And reduce the the volume Correct. and the churn of problems on on the business, um, as well as maintain a healthy relationship proactively with customers. 
So I, that's, mm -hmm. wow, I, I, I'm at a loss for words. That's fantastic. And I, I feel like, you know, I didn't even know that it belonged in Connect until you described it in the, the way that you did. So, so I, I'm, but I'm beginning to wonder, you know, how, how does it work? Like, can we, can we see a block diagram of how mm -hmm. this all fits together? Yeah, definitely. That's, you know, I love showing like uh, architecture diagrams. So this is where like all the energy kicks in. So let me share my screen and you can look at, just give me a second while I do this. Okay, so let me know when you can see. Can you guys see, see my screen? Yeah, I can see. Okay, it. okay, perfect. Uh, just wanted to confirm. Yeah. Um, so as you can see, so this is this is the high level architecture diagram, and the demo will go into a lot of details. But you can see that we have both. We have Amazon Connect and Amazon Pinpoint working for you. So. Um, to sort of look, walk through a simple experience, so you uh, you go into Amazon Connect, and that's where uh, some of the pieces might be already familiar to you, uh, and some uh, are things that that you can look at our launch blog and sort of get details from there. But essentially, when you come into Amazon Connect, there are a few things you can configure. Right, number one is you configure your contact flow. Now. This contact flow is where you will see in the demo that we have introduced a new call flow block called check progress analysis. That is your answering machine detection block. So you add that block to your contact flow, all the other pieces you know, you'll be familiar with. And essentially, there are several branches that that contact flow block can take. So there is the human voice, of course, and then there is answering machine. So answering machine with beep, without beep, and of course, scenarios where you cannot detect. So you can go in and configure workflows for each of those branches and go from there. So that's number one, is that's what you do, which you can see here. Once you do that, then it's a simple case of configuring your queue, which, which is something we already have, that, that capability. So you go ahead and do that. And then you will see that we have introduced this, uh, this new option, which is high volume outbound communications. And that's where you create and manage campaigns, right? So that's where you go and you say, hey, I want to create this particular campaign for, let's say, reservations. And here are some of the um, options that I want to use when dialing, right? So you, you add your options there, as you'll see. And then you go on to pinpoint, right? So this is where you come in at the top of this diagram where you sort of uh, almost like integrate the two, if you will, where you go into pinpoint. And for those of you who are familiar with pinpoint, you go in, you create a segment, and that's where you specify your contact list. So let's say you want to contact, if you remember my example, customer A, customer B, customer C, you put in their names, your num their numbers, their IDs, and whatever information you want to put in there. But you have that there, and then you start your journey, and you basically go from there, right? Where you can say, okay, customer A, you know, SMS, customer B, email, customer C, phone call. And once you configure all this, you publish from Pinpoint, and voila, it works. So it's, it's super simple once you set this up in Connect and Pinpoint using those different steps, and then you're good to go. Okay. So um, when you set up your, compa your campaign, you can have one campaign, but one um, in there you are contacting via SMS, contacting via text, and uh, voice as well, but same campaign. That's right. Okay. Super wow. cool, huh? Yeah, it is quite uh, cool. It really is. You were really saying hard. before. Oh, sorry, go ahead. You were saying before, Rob, that um, it's these features that you didn't even think you need them. Um, and I was thinking when you were saying that that it is like almost enhancing your lifestyle. You don't even know that you need this, but once you have it, it's like, oh my word, this is awesome! I love it. It sounds very exciting. Yeah, and uh, you know, I couldn't agree more. And of course, you know, being the product manager, I have to say this. But even if I step <laughs> outside, it's it's exactly that, right? It caters to multiple use cases, right? Whether you're in the financial sector, whether you're in healthcare, you're owning a hotel or a restaurant, mm -hmm. right? It's 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 like yes, if you have a problem, of course, you go there and use it. But then uh, it's it's also when you want to sort of manage things more simply, more efficiently, yeah. and cost effectively. And remember, it's AWS. Yes, it's at scale. Yeah. So yeah. that's where that power comes in. Yeah. That is awesome. 
I can totally see what, what you were saying earlier. You know, imagine that this outbound communications campaign management, all, all this stuff was a totally separate tool, totally, you know, different department even. And and what what kind of complexity and uh, challenges that can introduce to the business when just really trying to deliver the same customer experience at the end of the day, right? So so I, I, I think it's it's fantastic because it's really kind of challenging this this traditional view of of how you know some complexity is is necessary to expose to the customer, but other complexity is not. And this yeah. really feels like a, a win where you're able to say, this boundary doesn't make sense for our customers. What if we tore mm. it down and integrated it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you have to like, um, I mean, a lot of the folks who are watching us on Twitch or, or LinkedIn Live, right? Like a lot of you are builders, right? So you know how to do this. Uh, but at the same time, you know, there are segments of customers who are saying, you know, think of a smaller business which says, yeah, just give me the solution and I'm going to go ahead with it. So I feel yeah. like it caters across segments and across verticals. That's, I think, the real power of this, this capability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't wait to see the demo. Are we almost getting there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, before, uh, you know, we get there, I would say, um, and, you know, I'll make this pitch at the end too, but this mm -hmm. is available now in preview. Um, it's it's across three regions, US East 1, US West 2, and London. And, um, you know, we have awesome uh, uh, marketing assets out there. Our webpage uh, has details as well as there's a great launch blog that we have put out there. So uh, please check it out. And we'll talk about these as well towards the end. Mm. Awesome. Okay, well, can we see the demo now? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello. Today we are going to demo Amazon Connect high volume outbound communications. Imagine that I am an owner of a popular restaurant in Seattle. Look at that lovely space needle. And I want to remind my customers about their upcoming lunch and dinner reservations. My customers have the choice to receive reminders via a phone call, SMS, or email. We will be looking at two scenarios today. One, sending reminder to customer A who has chosen SMS as their channel of communication. And customer B who has chosen phone call as their channel to receive reminder regarding the upcoming reservation. So let's get started. We will go through the steps involved to set up this experience in Amazon Connect and Amazon Pinpoint. So let's look at the Amazon Connect experience first. So I will start by configuring the contact flow in my Connect Contact Center. So in the navigation menu, I will choose routing, contact flows. I have created this particular contact flow for the purposes of this demo. So let me show you that. We have introduced this new contact flow block called check call progress analysis. This is for answering machine detection, which is one of a key component of high volume outbound communications. This particular flow block allows me to distinguish between human voice and answering machine. You can see that I can configure different experiences for the different branches of this flow block, whether the call was answered by human, whether it was it reached a voicemail with beep, voicemail without beep, or scenario where we couldn't detect. Once I configure my contact flow, I go back to the navigation bar and go to queues, routing queues. I have this particular queue configured, go there. High volume outbound communications, that's the name of the queue. And this is the outbound caller ID number that's been configured. Last, but definitely not the least, here you go. This is the new high volume outbound communications. This is where you can create and manage campaigns within Connect. 
show you the campaign I have created. I have named it HVOC. And you can see this particular contact flow that we created earlier. Q that we created earlier and the number associated with that Q. Now we are done with configuring things within Amazon Connect and we proceed to pinpoint. So you go to the pinpoint console. All the there's a complete list of projects, so I'm going to click on this particular project, which is Amazon Connect Outbound Dialer. Go to segments. I have created Priya segment one. So this is where you can um, basically import a CSV file, which has your list of contacts and the method you wish to contact them. So let me show you what I have. So I have two contacts, as you remember. If you remember customer A and customer B, customer A wishes to be contacted via SMS, customer B via voice. These are the numbers there. So we go back. We then go to journeys. Journey two. So this is the journey I've created for this demo. So you can see this is using Priya segment one, those two um, contact numbers, but those two contacts. This is for sending SMS. I can you have I've used this template, which is HVOC restaurant. And this is sent through a contact center, which is essentially a phone call. So let me show you. And voila. Here's that Amazon Connect campaign we configured, if you remember, HVOC. So now we are ready. Um, but before we, we, we sort of see the end-to-end -end experience, a couple of things. So what you're going to see is once I start this journey, um, you're, you're going to have to imagine like customer A. So that's going to be one of my phones that's going to get an SMS. And um, the easiest way for me to show that to you is once this once this journey ends, I can show you uh, a picture of, of of that SMS. And then uh, customer B, which is my other phone, is going to get a phone call. And I'm going to say hello, and it's going to give me two options. It's going to say press one and confirm this particular reservation or press two and get connected to an agent because maybe I want to change my reservation. So you, have, you can do that. So what I will do is I'll pick up the call and I'll press two, and then I will show you the agent interface within Connect where that call is being received. And that'll be sort of the end of that, end, that experience. So let's, let's go before we begin, let's make sure we start this. Um, so it's it's ten one today. Let's put a couple of minutes just so that we have enough time. Save, review. Okay, so now I wait and I have my two phones next to me. This is pretty cool because you can configure a lot of different journeys here. We we saw SMS um, and, and phone calls. You can also configure emails. You can cater to various use cases. We are looking at restaurants, but this could apply to pretty much a lot of different use cases, right? We talked about delivery notifications earlier. Um, you know, there's appointment reminders, reservation reminders, there's marketing campaigns. So there's just a lot of uh, goodness built into this, and you can use it for various different workflows and various different use cases. So pretty cool. Okay, so we're getting ready to see this in action. It's pretty exciting.
Okay. So I have received an SMS, which I will show you in a bit because I'm getting a phone call. I'm getting ready for that. Okay. Hello. Hello. This is Canlis Restaurant in Seattle. Calling to confirm your appointment tomorrow. Please press 1 to confirm or press 2 to speak to an agent. Thank you for calling. Two. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. So you can see that I pressed 2 because I wanted to probably change my reservation and that call came here. So that's the end of the demo. Um, we introduced the key components of Amazon Connect High Volume Outbound Communications, the dialer, integrated list management using Amazon Pinpoint, and answering machine detection. We learned how to configure answering machine detection, create and manage Connect campaigns, create and publish Pinpoint Journey to create an end-to-end -end experience for sending the reservations reminders via SMS and by phone. We show you that SMS that came in. Now ignore the timing because this is a sample um, because I captured this image from an earlier testing, but this is how it's going to look. And you also saw the call that came in. So you heard the call that came in. All right. So please sign up for preview on our website and start using high volume outbound communications for your Amazon Connect contact center instance today. Thank you. All right. Well, Priya, that was uh, <laughs> pretty comprehensive. You know, I think what uh, that was long. <laughs> you know, we a lot there, but you know what's um what's really interesting is that um, you know it's the workflows that you were you were showing. This is exactly what I was saying. It's like it's hard to imagine a counterfactual because if these were two totally separate systems, you were it's so much more complicated. You were actually able to take us through. Outbound communication uh, management with an integration to the existing feature of Connect, um, all in one relatively short demo. So I think that's exactly. that's fantastic. Thank you. Exactly. Uh, now, before before I'm uh, sorry, before we continue, um, I'm getting some feedback from Twitch chat that uh, we are um, having connection issues there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and reboot the broadcast. When in doubt, power it off, power it on again. <laughs>